And I, I don't know. I feel like that's another task I ain't gonna want to do. <laughs> um, writing it down, and I ain't gonna. That's, I don't want to do it. That's fair. Because I'm like, totally. hey. I, I might be able to write it down for like a month or two, but then after that, I'm like, listen, why am I doing this? <laughs> but see, that that helps me to make sure that I'm staying on top of it. Because if not, I know. I used to hear my mom's mouth all the time. Did you make sure you got your phone? Did you make sure you got this? I don't want to hear it no more. So if I'm writing it down, it's something I don't even have to think of. Because mm-hmm. you know, like we were talking earlier about, oh, did I pay this? I got that extra cash in my account. What happened? And I go back to my calendar, I'm like, okay, I know exactly. And that's why I have no auto <coughs> I don't even got to. That's fair. Right. Baby, that's I got right. paid on the 15th. Oh, okay. <laughs> as I long like as you it. get your money, you better get it when it's in there. Baby said, best of luck. <laughs> I pay my bills when they do. But then part of me, the that's other thing is. <laughs> but the other thing is, I put, I pay all my bills with a credit card. I don't like oh, all my bills. Are, I do. I pay my light card. bill with a credit card. Yes. I pay everything with a credit card. So then I know now I'm only paying my credit card bills out of my cash. I got you. So even if somebody like we were talking about that. earlier, if somebody owes me some money, it's a refund. Hey, as long as you hit this money before before this credit card closed, I don't care. I got you. See, mine's I'm more it's like I need them discounts. So if they gotta come out my own account, I'm gonna pay it that way out my account. Cause, yeah, however, you need it. Because if Comcast and you get $20 for it to come out your little check in, I'll make $20 off my bill. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I'll do that. No, I need that. T Mobile payment $5 off the phone. Okay, go ahead and do that. Take that off my bill. No, nah, you can do that. I don't pay on that credit card. Take my $10, $15 <laughs> off a month. Go ahead and do take that. Take that off my bill. You know what I'm saying? Switch to paperless. $5 off. I love that. Like, yes. Oh, okay. Send me that email. <laughs> that email that I'm not going to open. <laughs> Straight to spam. Straight to spam. <laughs> Well, I'll subscribe. I've never had a bill in my life. What are you talking about? <laughs> you send the whole spam email. Send them all here. Mm-hmm. Right. That's oh, it. Shopping. We got five. Right. We, we got some raisins. They, okay. He's raising. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, the <Devon. laughs> That's crazy to me. You stop right there. <laughs> I am not with the number, Lord. I am not with the number. They said I came back. Uh, you had a couple extra days, man. <laughs> oh, okay. So I'm assuming that we are now recording for the podcast. Well, we have been recording for a minute, actually. Yeah, just got a little extra. Yeah, just a little extra. But since we're on the topic, I, do I want to just jump right in or should I? Hey, how y'all doing? Right you know, we've been talking here. Does anybody know who y'all are, though? So can y'all introduce yourselves real quick? Sure. They know me and the book. No problem. <laughs> What's up, y'all? I'm Sunny. Nice to meet you. I'm Naya. Nice to meet y'all. It's my first podcast, so y'all take it easy. Oh, same, same. Aw, it's okay. not bad. <laughs> Kitchen. <laughs> wow. No, because what is that? <laughs> not I mean, a realization. I've been following you, and I was just like, oh, shit. <laughs> not me. Look at that. I'm sorry. Small world. Right. There we go. Okay, so anyway, we were just on the topic of pretty much paying bills and... She's looking at me for Because <laughs> the way you just turned that camera right at me. <laughs> hey, you already know. You know what time it is. Anyway, so we were on the topic of paying bills and um, last week, Kitchen and I were having a conversation and we started getting into like masculine and feminine energy and I mean, I feel like now we can just kind of hop right into that. When you think about masculine and feminine energy, what comes to mind? Well, masculine energy, I feel like it's more aggressive, mm-hmm. more dominant. Feminine energy is nurturing and soft. And I feel like the people of today mm-hmm. is in balance. I think men are more feminine now and women are more masculine now. And until we fix that, mm-hmm. We're going to keep having problems in the world. Okay. Sunny, Naya? Uh, honestly, the first word that comes to my mind when I think of either is duality. Because mm-hmm. I feel like every person enables both. And it right. comes down to a matter of, like you were saying, where's the balance? Are you in tune with the moments where you may need to exercise your softer side or is this a moment where 
you in the corner and somebody got to help the bear. You know what I'm saying? Like, which <laughs> are you able to have control over that? And if not, how are you working towards it? Because mm. that can affect more than just you. People in your community, too. All right. All right. I feel like we in the soft girl era phase. That's what we're labeling this. It's mm -hmm. soft girl era. It's like women want to revert back to that soft girl era. And it's like the men are kind of... Fighting well, against it. <laughs> not really. Yeah, fighting against it, but they want to be in it in their own way, too. Mm -hmm. So, it's like, they want to be loved. They want to have that safe space. They want to be, you know, soft with their women. I work in, used to work in a field where it's mainly men. Mm -hmm. So, it's like, with us, how do you be soft in that field with a bunch of men? But I realized that the men appreciate that. Like, that soft girlness is like... Yeah, y'all can be tough with the inmates and do this, but it's like when we have a conversation, I feel like I'm still talking to a female. Mm -hmm. Like we don't want to be talking to males all day. Like, but that's where it's at. It's all girl era. Like everybody wants to be in touch with it. Men want a taste of it, and females want to revert back to it. Mm -hmm. So, but where's the safe space for it? Is the question. That's a very good question. I mean, I think it it really does boil down to. One, understanding what, like, we all have masculine and feminine energy in us. It's not just, I think a lot of people think that only women are supposed to show this feminine energy and then men are just supposed to show all masculine energy when it really is no, we all need that balance between right. both, right? Because now, I think as a society, we see that women are overly masculine. Mm -hmm. And it's not that we necessarily want to be, but maybe it's to a point where we feel like we kind of have to be. Why do you feel that way? Mm, different circumstances. Like, um, I think for myself being, I have I have a child. I am a single mother at this point. So it's now I'm like, I'm always the one that's having to figure something out. I'm always the one that's having to make sure everything in the household is going smoothly. And it's not like I don't just get to be nurturing. Yes, I still have to be nurturing to my child. I still have to be nurturing to the other people that I interact with. But then it's also like at the end of the day, I'm the one that's stressed about how I'm going to make ends meet or how I'm going to make sure that everything is still running smoothly. You mean struggles that men also deal with? As well? I'm sure men also deal with that. Yeah. How? Yeah. There, there are struggles. They are quite identical, mm -hmm. the struggles that men and women have to go through, especially for at least this collective, mm -hmm. the communities that we serve as black women, as mothers, as black men, as leaders and figures. Mm -hmm. The difference in that, I think, personally, falls between the disconnect and the destructuring of the, the family. family. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you have generations of having... For the sake of the conversation, a family member removed. Mm -hmm. Generally, the welfare of the family has fallen more modernly on the shoulders of women. So not only are we having to say, okay, we deserve to be in certain places that y'all get to go and hang out and mm -hmm. parlay and do all that fun stuff, but we also deserve to be treated as equal women. We want to let our hair down. We want to kick our shoes off. We want to be able to let our transgressions rest without having to feel like we on edge at all the time. <laughs> Which is kind of why I feel like I agree with Naya as far as, as far as saying like the soft girl era is mm -hmm. like ushering in a new perspective of how we receive and engage with one another. I right? love that. And I think I also agree with that as well. <laughs> I think some of the disconnect does come from also, uh, like you said, women also trying to figure that out within themselves. Because, yes, uh, we're in a society now where women, if you want to be honest, are the breadwinners now. Black women are dominant when it comes mm -hmm. to being their own entrepreneurs, making their own money, making a lot more money than, honestly, a lot of men. Education system. Mm -hmm. so, and I, I and, also agree like with her, like, as far as like being wearing all the hats. Okay, so would you bring up the the single mother thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm still with my partner, mm -hmm. and now we're about to have a child. Yeah, it's certain things he does, but I still have, like, I would say, like, that single mother feel sometimes, because, like, to me, men think straightforward. Mm -hmm. It's like, y'all don't think of everything as a whole, as an aspect, as a roundabout. So it's like, where? It's like, okay, the baby is here. I'm going to work, and I'm providing you a check. 
what is what all comes with raising that child the right. pediatrician everything that comes you know all it's more than just financial financial mm-hmm. is like how far ahead do y'all think compared to women we're not you know and that's why they say we got twenty thousand things on our mind all at one time is because yeah i may have that man financially supporting me but it's more to it mm-hmm. what neighborhoods are we living in how is my child gonna be raised all the little things that go with bringing up a child is like yeah you have that support but you still have to think about all the small things. It's like, for instance, just take like going grocery shopping. Y'all think very straightforward. This is what I'm getting. This is what I'm, I'm not <laughs> Yeah, we, hey, you know what we eat. You know yeah. what we eat on a weekly basis. And, That's what we get. We eating. We getting for what we eating now. We're thinking like, okay, if I can't get to the store in seven days, ten days, mm-hmm. then I have, have everything for the backup. Stop mm-hmm. everything yeah. backed up. Not for the in the moment. Take. So it's like we we can't really truly relinquish into always, like I said, the soft girl era wanting to be in our, you know, femininity. So like, because it's so much going on. Mm-hmm. And it's like, if men could take on some of those roles and relinquish some of that, you know, that could be another part in the balance. Oh, boy said oh, no. Okay. <laughs> which, got- which I think enforces the idea of duality between yes, yes, yes. masculine and feminine energy when they're when we're hyper or over stimulated with whatever life is throwing at us mm-hmm. especially when we are partnered like hey tap in help me okay yes. like help me but at the same time i don't know any mind readers mm-hmm so, right. You gotta be able to be vocal, you know it, we it do have to down, communicate that right it comes right. down to a matter of having Having the the sense to say, okay, you know what? I'm talking to somebody that I rock with. This is my partner. This is my friend. This is whomever. Are you their piece? You know, like, can I address this with you without you? Without you conflict. always stressing me. Yeah, I just asked you if you could pay the light bill on time. But I also the lights went off. The lights been off. off. They've been think, off twice, my boy. I think like, as well, but that's a good point. Um, mm-hmm. that men, I think now that we are struggling with and what we're trying to convey is. We're more than just providers. Because mm-hmm. I think right. mm-hmm. throughout society, that's all we've ever been looked at as. Mm-hmm. Is, you're good for that. just this one thing, yeah. providing. Yeah. That's it. Right. And it's like, I think, especially men of our generation now, it's like, well, no, we're, we're more, much, much more. That's why you say, like, a lot of men maybe have that feminine energy where it may come across. But it's just, no, men are just figuring out, like, no, I'm more than just being a provider. I can be much more than just that. But when you're brought up to be well, that's all pretty much you're good for. You see on social media, this is all you're good for. It's money, financial. This is all you need. And if you ain't doing that, you ain't a man. I feel like we attach emotions <laughs> to feminine. Yeah. yeah. And that's what it says, the feminine energy. But yeah. to me, that's not feminine. Yeah, it's not it's feminine like, at all. It's just like, to me, like breaking the barriers. Like, right. why can't we be a safe space for our black men? They don't have no other safe space. Mm-hmm. Why? Like, I used to tell one of my exes, if I'm not your piece, I'm not for you. Right. Because mm-hmm. you need to be able to relinquish some of that when you come home, mm-hmm. and I need to be your safe space and vice versa. Vice versa. If I can't be that, then you can't, re- you know, relinquish into releasing some of that energy when you come home into mm-hmm. that. Like that—that's just how I feel about Devo, it. Devo, you looking like you want to say something? Go ahead. You've oh, been, been waiting for a minute. <laughs> like, no. My boy sat up. <laughs> he sat up for that one topic. Was like. Right. <laughs> All right. So, go, going back to what you said about how you know you would like to relinquish. Oh, my boy went pinpoint. He pinpointed what you said. Like that. You remember? Yeah. Okay. Gosh, not do you remember? I just remember. What had the mental note? He was like, "I ain't forgetting this." Right. I'm locked in. Okay. 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 What I've noticed is that a lot of women, once they have that power and authority, mm-hmm. they don't like to give it up. Mm-hmm. Even if the man is trying to show you, "Hey, I can handle this." Mm-hmm. As soon as he mess up one time, you take it back. And I and the I, problem and I is agree. that I you can, don't yeah, trust yeah. anymore. And agree. that's one of the biggest problems. Like the problem is that a man could be a man mm-hmm. and try to take care of things, but you know in your head like he either gonna leave or he gonna do something to fuck up, die, whatever the case may be. So I still got him. So you feel like we should give y'all? I ain't gonna hold you. To that's as a good, black man, right? as, as a black man, that's a realistic that's, thing. That's real. I get that's you, Lord, but the way you just slid that in there, right. I like, said it like you got a ticket, daddy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> held up in traffic, die in a fire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being realistic, okay. though. Just being realistic. So, but the problem is that a lot of women just don't want to give up control. Mm-hmm. Now, don't get me wrong. Yes, the man has to prove it. 
mm-hmm. be consistent with it. Mm-hmm. But even when he is, you still like, mm, nah, I'm old, nah, I'm old. Now, you that's like some of that come from like females having daddy issues. Mm-hmm. Oh, exactly. Because think about, think about like you. A different dynamic. The problem, the problem with one thing about the black community is, is the lack of black fathers. Right. Mm-hmm. And that is the biggest problem. We ain't gonna get into that again because we discussed that on another right. episode of why there's the lack of black fathers. But you know, no, we're no, not no. gonna do that. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> my toes was on the edge. No, no, no. I'm trying to go back there. We right. watch <laughs> Snowfall. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> if you watch Snowfall. <laughs> I'm saying, like, does that, do you feel like just that correlates to some extent? Like, you're saying the not giving enough chances. It's mm-hmm. like, if you had a female who dad has, like, walked out on them and come back and forth, it's like, do they, you feel like that correlates to them letting the man in a relationship? lead because it's, it's like hmm you gotta remind me that it's the mother it's how the mother raises the daughter of their sons uh, okay. no the reason I say that okay. is because think about it like this right I'm I'm really I've seen it I've seen in some situations right where the mother will raise her daughters mm-hmm. to be independent and right. don't need anybody mm-hmm. okay, but they raise that. the sons to be lazy like right. a yes. woman's supposed yes. to do this for a woman's supposed to do this exactly mm-hmm. Very so now Rexy. when he mm-hmm. grows up he's lazy mm-hmm. he's a bum why my mom can take care of me all my life. My sister's been taking care of me all my mm-hmm. life. So why would I do this now? But yet, you raise your daughters to be independent. Mm-hmm. So now they're like, well, shit, There's my mom didn't need no man. I don't need no man. And if they get a man that's able to do it, they're not going to relinquish the control because, hey, you can leave it any time. Mm-hmm. And it's still on me. Or sometimes you can have a situation where maybe the mother has dealt with so much trauma that she now projects that at- upon the mm-hmm. daughter. And now that's the that's daughter, that's, that's, yeah. exactly that's, that's exactly. all she knows now is this hatred mm-hmm. for... So I'll, I'll touch on that a little bit, just share a little of my background, because with the whole independent thing, I mm-hmm. have seen that from my mom, but my dad was still in the picture. Mm-hmm. We just lived in separate households. Mm-hmm. So I still know how it is to be in a household where my dad can lead, take care of the bills, and do certain things, mm-hmm. but I also can be on that other side, like you said, where mm-hmm. projecting a, oh, you don't need a man, she had five kids, and still made it happen. Mm-hmm. So, but it's like... With me, I still know that I can relinquish some of that because I've seen both sides of it. Mm-hmm. So I do agree to some extent is that, like y'all say, it's, it's a projection. Like, mm-hmm. you don't need a man to make it happen. And it's not so much as a negative, but it's like, if that's what you've thrown in with your environment, right. what can right. you do? Right. I mean, it's not a negative. You can do it by yeah. yourself, and you can do it by yourself. Mm-hmm. I mean, hopefully you don't have to, especially when you have a child with the father needs to be involved. Now, let me ask you a question. How many times should a man leave and mess up before we say enough is enough? Mm-hmm. He, you oh, are, no, no, no. he'll show up. <laughs> no, I'll be honest. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, that's a good question. That, though. That's up to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. the day, that's only yeah, that's you different. You know when person. you're fed up and you're done. I'm just asking, as you say, we give y'all like one chance, mm-hmm. and then we dismiss y'all. So, in your eyes as a well, man, you, I think, it I think we the also, offense, and it depends yeah. on how you feel about that person. Because if, right. if it's early on a relationship, it's like, man, whatever. I don't even really like you that much. So you feel like you, yeah. It's but if it's, like, if, it's, if it's years later and it's just like, you know what? If you say a repeated bad, pattern, you, if it's a cycle, I mean? then that's something different. But I mean, mm-hmm. like I said, that, that, that depends on the person. You know, and so I feel I'm, like that's true because it's for like, situation. for me, if a man is messing up, are you willing to learn or find a way to learn about that it? Yes. To fix that's, it. And I think that's where it com- another thing comes in. It's like, what are you learning to fix? Like, are you learning, are you willing to learn how to be more in touch with your emotional side? Can, and not just be more emotional, but control your emotions. And you're going to give him a space to be emotional. Yeah, that's what I said. Be your peace. If I'm not your peace, you're not, I'm not for you. But I'm hold on, wait, wait. Black man, you. also, take heed to this. Listen to this. Learn to ask for help mm, if you yes. need it. I think too much. Is the mic on? We, sh- <laughs> <laughs> we shoulder right, way. way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that also, that. Com- it comes from an upbringing. Upbringing. And like I said, that's something I so struggle with. So is that still for- comparison to the independent woman? Learn to ask for help. You yeah. want to learn yeah. to ask for help to... Yeah. As far it's, as it's, it's very... They, 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 are, they are, are one and the, the same. same. Literally parallel. Yeah, they are one and the same. It's masculine energy. Yeah. You know and what I'm saying? You just figure out a way to get it done. Because you're supposed to be strong. Exactly. Because you always had to do that. Masculine. Exactly. That's yeah. masculine energy. And it's, to me, I feel like it's a comparison to a black person, a black, especially a black woman. Yes. You always had to learn to be yeah. strong because that's what society made us. You know, with the crack pandemic and all these other things that mm-hmm. made Snowfall. us like that. <laughs> you know, it's like it goes back to all that. It's like everything just kind of correlates to itself. It's like it goes further than that. Jim, yeah. Crow, Jim Crow. Everything. And really, Crow, honestly, to take it even, even like the I guess adding another layer to it. From my perspective, I grew up in a household with both of my parents in the home the full time. 
And yet and still, I was raised to be an independent thinker. Mm -hmm. For me, mm -hmm. that turned into being an independent person. Mm -hmm. It didn't mean that I was incapable of providing space for somebody that needed space to mm -hmm. share what they needed. But at the same time, I know what to deal with and what not to deal with. I know what I got time for and what I can make time for. And I know if I need to get this shit done, I can get this shit done. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So it, for, for me in that aspect, I find that when I'm having that conversation or having that exchange with another person, it's almost like you have to go above and beyond to help identify that vulnerability is safe here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like a lot of us, when we interact with one another, for whatever reason, whether it's because we black, whether it's because we have our own transgressions, we're meeting each other with swords already drawn. Like, yeah, what you doing, nigga? What you doing? Like, what? <laughs> I just came to see how you were doing. Like, have you been taking your vitamins? Like, are you, eating, <laughs> are you using soap when you bathe? Like, I'm just checking. I feel like people are so unused or it's so abnormal for us to experience someone that is coming so authentically mm -hmm. without malice and just saying like, yeah, you know, I'm just checking on you. Mm -hmm. I think that we can sometimes with our own experiences, mm -hmm. we can sometimes push very good things and people away because we're not willing to face and accept or say I need help. Or say it's hard for me to tell you mm -hmm. what I need to tell you, but you need to know because I respect you. Mm -hmm. Or I respect what we have in our relationship, whether it's amorous or just friendly or whatever. I'm hurt. You hurt my feelings. I ain't like that. And mm -hmm. for I think for men and women, it's hard for us to say it because when we have done that in the past, usually it's by a, a older auntie, an older feminine figure in your family. That Stop all that crying. Mm -hmm. You ain't hurt. You ain't. Th how you gonna tell me what I am? <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm articulating right. how I feel, and you're not acknowledging that. And I think, I think that proves to be one of the biggest. I think my barriers. son was listening to that. Be like, <laughs> <laughs> but I think that's one of the largest barriers that we have. I think that's one of the things that all of us can most easily work on. Is mm -hmm. like it just two seconds to like just check. Your tone, check mm. how you're coming, check yeah. what's being said. Because sometimes the truth gonna be the truth, whether you're sweet and candy and pie, or whether you give it to them straight and they'll right. chase it. Yeah. But are you making space for what follows? Like, are you here for a solution mm -hmm. or for a shoulder? Problem? Exactly. Are you here so to I just know how to approach, how to it. approach it? And yeah. that's one thing that we, I know that we've mentioned to men as far as as far as women saying, you know, we don't always need a solution. Because Absolutely. I just need you to I listen. I need you to be quiet. And, and some men say that she wrong, even though she right. And some <laughs> <laughs> right. And then even, even then, at that point, maybe as the listening person, you say, okay, so you're telling me that this is what I heard. This is how you feeling. Oh, you, you telling me that Kathy baby. got you fucked up, huh? Exactly. All right. You right. saying mash up the place? Okay, <laughs> okay. bet. All right. Then that's one thing. But when here with reason, and I'm being irrational. Right. right. Like, because <laughs> now I'm getting mad at you. And, and I think a lot of men feel like women don't ever feel minimized in a conversation. Like we don't experience that you know, mm -hmm. between other women or when we're talking to another man. Mm -hmm. Like, no, we feel minimized too. I'm not trying to minimize you. I'm just making sure that you're hearing me mm -hmm. and that I'm respecting you. But then when there's that disconnect and the heads start clashing and now it's name calling and now your mama been three types of different dirty. Oh, wow. <laughs> it can escalate. It can get, real quick. It can get rowdy fast. Right. <laughs> what Kevin Hart said... Pissing the bed last night. Oh, like, God. Whoa, wait, wait. I, <laughs> like, wait, whoa. I, you, know? <laughs> I you, you ain't getting that out of your shit. Hey, I said I put the mattress out. Please don't. God damn. <laughs> now, I, I mean, it's just like everything that, we, you know, we all have touched on has always come back to, like, again, how you were raised mm -hmm. to that extent. Like she's saying, the aunties and the uncles is like, being able, I had that conversation with my sister earlier, it's like breaking certain boundaries. It's like, with my nieces and nephews, we like for them to come and tell us how they feel. Mm -hmm. You can be angry, 
but you can talk to me in a certain way and express mm-hmm. your feelings. Like, Big you don't words. have to, yeah, use your words mm-hmm. and tell me how you're feeling because I can't fix something that you're not telling me. Right. Like, sometimes men will let us say certain things and do certain things to y'all and it bothers y'all and, and y'all you won't say nothing and, but how do I know it. to change right. you get mad because it's like we express what we want y'all to change mm-hmm. but y'all won't express what we need to change until and I we bring something. it until we bring it till we bring something to your attention that's bothering us then it's now nah, it's, it's oh well da, 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 da. I got something to say three weeks ago so you, three weeks ago, you know said that it. and I'm gonna tell you uh, damn no, how y'all all in unison no you want to know why? Because yeah. in a lot of cases, men, we don't have a safe space to to talk about what's wrong with this. And so I, I don't. I, like, I, even I if you piss that. us off about something, mm-hmm. then you're going to get mad that I'm pissed off at you. Wait. Not necessarily. Oh, no, wait, That's wait. not necessarily. No, 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 no. But what I mean um. is, it's like, especially if I didn't tell you, so you've been doing it over and over again, so now you're mad because I held something from you. Yeah, oh, I am. I am. Because, because why are you too, holding it till you're too boiling wrong over? For you not to express your feelings but regardless you of how you were raised. Fight back. Fight back. Swing, nigga. Get up. Get up. What I'm saying is, it's like, like, I want to see for myself, like, I come to a point where it's like, I can tell you how I feel. Mm-hmm. But I feel like in this moment, you don't really care. Mm. So, you know, so what? is that what you're doing? Is it we don't care because it wasn't your moment? That I don't like that. Because my exactly. thing is, if I'm moment? upset about something, it was not your moment. Especially <laughs> 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 when it happened. No, no, no. no, no she, that's she, what I'm saying. That's a good point. They, they teach you that in therapy. If it's not your moment, like, you don't get to take that moment away from me that I was upset because of something when you should have took your moment. When you right. was upset, that was your turn for you to be okay. upset. Yes. And now, wait, okay, can okay. I say, can right, I say right. this, though? That's the whole three weeks thing. So, y'all also say... Okay, that a man will hold on to it. Now, mm-hmm. what if it's something that a man has also... Because I think a lot of times, and you'll see this in a lot of cases, a man 